Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today, um, it's another nail video, so sorry for any of my crafters. <laughs> um, I just had to go back and get one last super scoop from a nail couture um, before um, Max shut it all down on the 25th actually started shutting it down on the 24th in case some of you went back like I did I went back for a tw uh, on the 24th for a $20 scoop just to get one last one um, and it was already the $20 scoops were no more on the 24th so he he, he started taking that crap away before the 25th <laughs> He was ahead of the game. So I got a super scoop about a week and a half ago. Uh, this one felt like it took the longest to get to me. I don't know why. Um, I do have some all-purpose cleaner and paper towels with me um, because I did cheat and I cracked open the box. I just wanted to kind of do a brief look-see. Um, and whoever packed the box, um, I think this is going to be the best box yet. But they were a little sloppy about it because I, I they uh, threw in an acrylic, a large acrylic jar that was partially uh, opened. And of course it was, it's like red. So there's like powder all over everything. So that's, that's a smidge bit irritating. But I'm just going to start taking from the top. This box is pretty packed. I feel like this box is a little bit more um, packed with goodies, more than my first scoop that I did on my channel. Um, and from what I could see when I took a brief overlook, um, I got a lot more stuff that I was really hoping for with the $20 scoops and the other super scoop and everything else. So um, I think I'm going to be a little bit more happier with this box. But we're going to dig into everything one by one. Uh, I guess we'll just start with the tons and tons of nails. The nails, I, could, I, I, I don't, I, I hate to say it. I could have done without the nails. I, I've done like, God, I think four or five $20 scoops. I did a one, two, three, go nail scoop. And then I did a super scoop. So I am up to my ears in, in full cover nail tips. I mean, at the same time, it's okay. I have backups. I don't have to buy nails for quite some time now. Um, I know a lot of channels are like giving their stuff away. Um, like I've been watching a lot of nail channels people buying lots of super scoops and $20 scoops and just giving their duplicates and their triples away, but not for nothing. I paid, you know, this box was $65. It's not cheap. And, you know, everything, you know, the value of the total box is more than $65. This stuff is pretty pricey, um, you know, for nail supplies. So, I'm sorry. This is the one thing I don't like. I, you know, I give, like, I give to close friends that I have on here diamond paintings that I don't want, this and that that I don't want. But for something like this, it was, it was killing me. I was watching everybody give their stuff away. Like, if you just wanted a scoop, <laughs> if you just, if you wanted the stuff, you, you could have bought a $20 scoop and had your own. I don't, I, don't, I hate to sound mean about it, but yeah, I'm not. I rather keep my backups, my duplicates and stuff. Therefore, I don't have to buy. I, you know, I have so many nails, nail tips at this point. I'm not gonna have to buy for the next year or two or three, possibly, because even the long ones I get. You know, I'm wearing short ones. Even the long ones I get, I can still glue those on and cut them down and make shorties out of them. You know, no shame in my game. But let's just stop the yammering. Um, so we got a, we got, oh, we got an apron. We actually got two aprons. Um, so I already have two aprons. So I don't know, maybe that could be given away. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, nail tips. Uh, we got a set of rounds. 
I'm not going to open these all up unless we get something completely different. I mean, most of you have already seen other people open all these up. Everybody is pretty much within reason has gotten the same tips as everybody else. So um, we got some tapered coffins. So these are long ones. More rounds. Tapered stilettos. See, these are all long, and I will gladly cut them down into sport length. Uh, we got some more sport length. Happy about that. XXL coffin nails. Sculpture square medium. I love the sculpture square mediums. I cut those down too. <laughs> sculpture square medium, another bag. It's another bag of sport length. Tapered stilettos, sculptured square mediums. So we did good with some of the short, short ones. I'm happy about that. Because when you get them when they're already short, it saves me having to cut. XXL coffin. Oh, we got another um, heart hole punch set. I haven't done a set with these yet. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with these. I think this is my third bag of heart hole punch. Tapered Coffin, XXL Coffin Nails. Is that it for the nails? And we got some poppers, coffin poppers for, you know, um, if you don't know what a popper is. Um, God, I had a brain fart. If you don't know what a popper is, a, um, poppers from a nail couture are dual forms. Um if you don't know what a dual form is, it looks like a tip, has little lines in it. You take your poly gel, you, you uh, hold your tip, fill the poly gel in, pat it nice, smooth everything over, flip the tip over, set it in place on your finger, cure it under the lamp, then pop the tip off and the only thing you have remaining is a poly gel nail. It seems simple, it looks simple when I watch other people do it. I have myself have not tried um, dual forms. I usually just put on nail tips and then cover the nail tip on top uh, with poly gel. So lots and lots of tips. I'm probably going to have to pack these up and just store them in my basement because in my new storage container, I my nail drawer is pretty filled already we got another play color palette if you haven't seen this in anybody's box yet this is what this isn't something that i was really interested in at all uh this is for you to mix colors and stuff if you are doing designs and stuff like that um yeah i don't I don't do a lot of, um, what do you call it? You know, hand painting characters and I don't do any of that. So I really have no use to, um, mix colors. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get into it. Maybe one day, but not today, Karen. Uh, XXL coffin nails. We had another bag that snuck away. All right, now we're getting into the dusty stuff. I am so happy we got another um, two candy boxes, you know, and out of all of, out of all of um, the scoops I purchased this year, um, I did not get the tin. I had my heart set on the tin. I mean, you can't expect it. I mean, it's a mystery box, so you don't know what you're going to get. But I was holding out hope that maybe if I bought, you know, more than one super scoop, eventually I'd get the tin. I mean, God knows everybody else got the tin. <laughs> everybody else that I watched got the tin. But this is okay because this um, this will come in much, much handy um, organizing my nail files and stuff like that. We got another, sorry guys, I'm going to have to wipe as I go because, I mean, see that? All that grime and dirt 
from the acrylic spilling. It's a little tragic. I don't know if this is the set that I already got. Might have been. Got some more alcohol inks. Blue. Haven't tried to use the alcohol inks yet. They are, it is on my list. Yes, these are the same colors. So um, this is my second set of alcohol inks and I already have these colors. Um, in case you didn't know, there's a brown in this set. There is a red. This The label looks purple, but it's, it's red. Oh, great, I just ruined my mat. I guess I have to buy another one. Thank God, it's only from Timu, so. <laughs> We have a blue. I'm not opening these up. Uh, purple, white, and a green. A teal, green. And I'm going to just keep them in this cute little container that they came in because this keeps them together perfect. I love this little bag that it comes in. So adorable. I wish I... Some people I saw got the, the vibrant um, alcohol inks, the really bright colored ones, but um, just a very small few people got them. We got some more Lux brush wipes. I have a ton of these. I am more than set now. This time in this box, I got two monomers. Hold on. They are dusty. You see? See all the, all the red dust on it? Whoever packed did not really check good enough. Um, I am more than... I'm leaving all these monomers sealed up because um, I have to learn acrylics. Okay. Um, and there's no, I already have acrylic, uh, I have a monomer that's already opened, so I'd rather use that one up first. We got another Lux brush white. Now, some of you told me that these, because I asked how, how these go, in case you didn't know, um, these are pink. And when you have monomer on your brush and you wipe it, I think the pink transfers a little bit to your brush. So be careful using these particular brush wipes when using light colored acrylics. I would probably use these instead if you're using white or baby pink. I'm so happy to get another one of these. These are nail, nail care brush wipes, the big pack, the uh, 60 wipes. Two more brushes. I'm not gonna wipe these off. I could just take them out of the plastic. Everything is coated in, um, <laughs> in this. We got these. These are different. I haven't received these in any um, scoops. Lint-free wipes, heart shape in pink. This is really cute. These will definitely come in handy. I'm trying to see what I'm reaching for. Save them best for last. Nail remover wipes. I'm trying to figure out when I'm ever going to use these because... Quite frankly, I use a nail drill to file off my gels and my foils and and my top coat. And then um, I use the remover magic to remove the tip. I, I haven't had to soak the last two times I've done my nail. Two or three times I've done my nails this month. I haven't had to soak in acetone. Thank God. Um, I, I use... The remover magic and my nails came off one two three really easy but um happy to have these in case i just do my natural nails i think these would be really cool to use if you have natural nails and you don't want to use a, a fit nail drill on your natural nails and you just have gel polish so i 
like these will be in handy in one day. We got another dabbing dish. Let's see what color it is. Pink. So now I got two. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the dabbing dish. Okay, guys, we had a brief pause for a second. Um, I opened up the next item. We got, of course, I think everybody's been getting these in the super scoops of bottle hand sanitizer. I already have one open, so I'm going to keep this one, excuse me, shut for now. I think this is another flashy lamp. I think this is my third or fourth one. And quite frankly, I'm going to keep it as a backup because you know, I don't know um, how long these last, you know. Um, super adorable though, if you haven't seen them. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is good quality, so they probably, you know, last quite some time. But I don't know, with prolonged use, some things break down, so just saying. Okay, so here is a first. I was getting pretty um, jelly that there was a couple people on their scoops that got happy gel. <laughs> and of course, it's always the people that don't use poly gel. Um, if you don't know what happy gel is, it's in e nails poly gel. If I can get these open. I need scissors. Okay. I have some scissors. So, let's just open them all up. I, I have worked with pollen gel a couple times. Um... I am no pro at it. I can do it good enough, you know, to my liking for me to wear on my hands. Um, I still need some work on it. Sometimes I make them a little too thick, but um, yeah, so we got three tubes of Happy Gel. These are 15 gram. Uh, we got the clear and we got two eternal beiges. I probably shouldn't open it up because... Who knows when I'm going to use it. And I don't want it to expire. Just to show you the color, in case you haven't seen the color. It's like a light pink. Okay, good. It's going back in the tube. So, we have two of these light pink eternal beige and a clear. Um awesome. I'm really excited because I have not received any happy gel. I watch everybody else get the happy gels. The big tubes, the little tubes. I have got none. So I'm happy I finally got some happy gels, you guys. Next product I'm super stoked about that I got was the Remover Magic. Sorry. Uh, I am currently using the bottle that I purchased with my own money. Um, I'm not through it just yet. I just cracked it open. So um, I was considering on buying a second one because I love it so much. Someone made a comment to me that this was just for removing gel polish. I've seen on other people's tutorials that they remove the one, two, three, go tips and the glue underneath with this stuff. I think it was a different formula on a lot of other people's uh, tutorials. I think they're a little bit older, the tutorials. I think this is more on the newer side, this formula. Um, but I am here to tell you, if you, whatever glue you use to glue on your nails, you do it thin enough. You don't make a thick mess. Um, and you nail file, you know, use a nail drill or whatever you use to file, take all the gel polish and the top coat and the base coat off and just get down to the bare nail tip. 
you cake this stuff on each nail, wait the whole five minutes, set a timer. I have taken off nail tips and the glue underneath. Now, I have to say, though, um, with the bubblegum gel, because I tried this method with having bubblegum gel as the glue underneath my tip um, um, for my last current set that I just had. And I made the bubblegum gel a little too thick. I was a little sloppy with it. And I used too much bubblegum gel under each nail. They were very, very thick under the nail. Um, I had to do this method of applying and scraping off and applying and scraping off at least three or four times before but everything ended up coming off eventually um i don't use bubble gum gel often i have it as a backup glue i do like to use it from time to time um but it's just so stubborn to remove um even with soaking off in acetone it's just it's such a process because it's so thick um, I use the McCart um, tube that you find on Amazon. It's nail glue gel, and it's a squeezy tube. And the that gel is so much thinner, and you can apply a very thin layer to your nail and press the nail on and cure it. Let me tell you, when I use that stuff and try to use Remover Magic to, to take off the nail and the glue, uh, one or two swipes, um, one or two tries, and comes off with this. I swear by it. I love it. So, another item I was very happy to get that I saw other people getting um, was the press-on gel. The 123 Go Nails press-on gel. I really wanted to try this because this is, this is thinner than um, bubblegum gel. And I have a feeling this would be much, much easier to remove when you want to take your set off completely off but look how beautiful this bottle is in case you guys haven't seen it i didn't see a lot of people get this in their scoops i only saw a small handful um i said how lucky <laughs> i said i could only pray that i get this in one of my scoops I, if i didn't i was gonna cave in and buy it one day but now i don't i mean technically i bought it i bought the scoop box but um Yes, I'm so excited about this. I, I can't wait to try it. Probably on my next um, set. When I take this, dissolve the set off, um, I will try the press-on gel next. Okay, next thing we got was a handful of liners. Oh, guys, we got another happy gel. I didn't even see this. This is another eternal beige. I knew I had an extra one in there. Um, let me find them. I don't remember how many I got. I think that's it. I think I just got three. I got some liners, a nice little handful. I got three of them. One is a duplicate. I got this color the gold glitter liner I got this in a previous box this is zero one zero one zero or ten this is number twenty zero two zero a light blue and zero zero nine like a darker like periwinkle blue um, I was hoping to get more liners in this box because I'm trying to collect them all because um, with these French tip nails, this is done with one of uh, E-Nails liners that I got in one of the scoops. And let me tell you, it was so easy to make a French tip with these liner brushes. So I will probably be doing this style with different color um, French tips now that I have a couple liners in my collection. So yeah, so we got three liners. Another thing I'm excited about that we got was a Galaxy Kitty gel polish. Look how beautiful this bottle is. And this is 012. Uh, I believe these are cat eye gels. I don't have any magnets or cat eye gels in my um, polish collection at all. Um, 
Last time I had cat eye done was when I was going to the nail salon to get my nails done. So that was years and years ago. Um, so now I'm going to have to invest in a magnet um, to try this out one day. But look how stunning this bottle is. I saw a lot of people got these in their um, $100 color scoops. Really pretty. I'm so glad I got one in my scoop. So some duplicates that I got, this acrylic is everywhere, you guys. Hold on, it's on my hand. I have to clean them off with all-purpose cleaner, you guys. Whoa. more of these shiny gel top coats I already previously got these particular ones in another scoop I believe in my first super scoop um, they sent me two more of the pink bottle one more of the blue bottle in case you haven't seen these yet Look how stunning that is and that's a top coat the, these are a top coat in case you don't know what these are these are I believe type top coats I don't know why I'm opening this one because it's the same one <laughs> bottles are so pretty there's I love I love e-nails packaging pink pink I'm so I'm, I'm a typical girl girly girl I like pink and purple and pastel colors and rainbows and yeah so and glitter <laughs> Here's the blue bottle. I was going to try one of these top coats, but I just like on this set. But I like this set so much, I, I didn't think it needed the glitter. So on another set. But I got more of those, so definitely plenty of backups to go around. I won't have to be ordering them anytime soon. Okay. We got a pack of glitters, like foil glitters. I think these are foil. Um, this one's called Crown. Stunning colors. I'm gonna. They're so packaged, so nice and neat. So I'm gonna just leave them in the original packaging. These I can take out. Uh, looks like these are some stones. Some diamonds and some very itty bitty caviar beads. I have yet to see anybody use these tiny, these tiny friggin' beads for for anything. If you um have seen a tutorial where you've seen somebody actually use these itty bitty beads that you really can't see, um, I'd like I'd like to see how their nails turned out. Please send me the link or let me know um the channel name. Ooh, now this is up my alley. Rhinestones, iridescent AB rhinestones. Look how stunning. I know the flat, the the reflection in the camera. Very, very pretty. Now these are something different that I haven't gotten in a scoop yet. If I can just find the opening. Power crystals in the shape square. Look how pretty these are. I used to do like rhinestone clusters. I, I had a whole phase of doing rhine. These would have looked really pretty on some rhinestone clusters. These are flat backs, so they should be easy to put on the nail. Very beautiful. These would be really pretty in the springtime. We also got power crystals in the heart shape. 
I think I saw somebody else get the one other person get these in their kit. I'm going to have so much fun organizing this <laughs> in my nail drawers and stuff. I love getting new nail stuff in and organizing and putting everything in its place. <laughs> Here are the heart-shaped power crystals. Here's one side. How stunning. And here is the other side. How pretty. These will make some pretty, like, glitzy Easter nails. Are these flat back? What are these? No. These aren't flat back, so you would have to use some thick um, rhinestone glue to glue these on. You wouldn't be able to use, like, a brush-on gel at all. Okay, next, we're almost done. Wipe off bottles, red acrylic everywhere. We got some nail glue, a bigger bottle, and a little bottle with the logo on it. And then we got some more bubblegum gel. So, you know, I am pretty... Um, stocked with bubblegum gel. You know, I was surprised. I didn't see a lot of people get clear unless they were lucky enough to get the big jars of bubblegum gel. Then some people got the clear. But I haven't seen anybody get any clear and clear is my favorite bubblegum gel because I I just prefer clear glue. Um, especially if I'm doing like a very bare you know, nude see-through look like this. Using a pink under this would kind of throw off the whole look. Um, but we got two light pinks, a cool pink, and two ivories. I wonder why um, some of the ivory jars are pure white and then some of them are pink. Is this like an older design? We don't know. And last but not least, we have a bunch of jars of acrylic. So I'm going to get my spray bottle ready because I'm, I'm assuming these are the dustiest out of everything. And I don't want to throw them in my drawer organizer with all this acrylic dust on them. Okay, we got these beautiful jars. I was hope I got a couple of these in one of my other scoops. I was hoping to get more of these jars, these particular jars, because they're just so they're so fancy looking. This one is called Biscuit Pink, and it is a glow in the dark. I really got to get on my acrylic game because it looks white on screen, but it is a very pale pink. Can't even tell on the top. Next, pound cake pink, and this is also a glow in the dark. Maybe this is dark enough where you can see the color. We're probably not gonna be able to see cut like true colors until monomer hits them. Okay. Yeah, they all look white on camera. I apologize, my friends. But, I mean, maybe some of you guys got this in your scoop, so you have been able to experience seeing them in person already. We got another one of these beautiful jars. Oh, we got another pound cake pink. See what I'm talking about? See how dirty this is? I'm not going to open this up because I already opened up the first one. And, guess, um, just to reiterate, it's glow in the dark. And we got a butter pink. That's a different one in the same jar. Let's open this one up to see if it's a little bit darker. I'm so glad I got these jars. These jars are so beautiful. This is just a tad bit darker. But on camera, it's just... See? Without the flash. It's very, very pale pink. I'm sure, though, with the monomer, um, one day when um, it's warm enough outside and I can open up all my windows and turn a fan on, I, I promise I will come back and do acrylic swatches because I have swatch sticks. I will do acrylic swatches on everything I got out of my scoops, you guys. 
And here's the next one. We got one of these giant jars, plastic jars. Let me wipe this off because this is pretty grimy. Uh, I think this is the gray one. It's called number 23 Moxie. It's gray. I think I already got this color in a previous scoop. And the last, and the one that's been leaking on everything, number 42, hibiscus. A lot of people have gotten the hibiscus. A lot of people like the hibiscus color. It is really, really pretty. Um, but I never wish it to be leaking on everybody's stuff. Yeah, guys, wait till you see this napkin. And you'll see where the culprit the hibiscus was the culprit. <laughs> Let's do a double wipe because it's all over everything. Holy moly. How did this happen? Just going to show it to you guys in case you haven't seen hibiscus. That's hibiscus. It is a pinkish reddish color. Try to put the lid back on. Yeah, it is it has gotten everywhere. This is my I believe third or fourth fourth jar of hibiscus so I'm pretty stocked up with hibiscus I better love the color once the monomer hits so you guys that's it that's the end of the scoop box oh no so now scoops are done I'm I'm sad to see them go I guess they couldn't last forever um it was fun while it lasted um, I don't know if I'm going to really need to buy from email anytime soon. He did come out with a new product, that Taffy, um, I was kind of interested in, but, um, I might be able to sit on it for a little while, um, with everything I've gotten in these scoops. So in this whole journey of doing scoops on my channel, um, I have gotten two super scoop boxes. I believe I got close to four twenty dollar scoop boxes i think don't quote me i got a one two three go scoop just the nail scoop and i also got to experience buying a color scoop before they hiked up the price at last minute to 100 bucks i got the 55 dollar scoop so i got the shorter nail bottles i didn't get the the long fancy ones like this um still an awesome scoop i loved that color scoop and now I have so many nice e-nail um, couture um, gel polishes in my collection. So this is everything we got, you guys. Well, and then the nails are on the bed and the aprons and the candy boxes are on the bed. But look at all these goodies. I have to say, sorry, I'm making you dizzy. Um, I have to say, in, in my opinion, from all the scoops that I've done, uh, my color scoop was one of my favorites and the super scoops were my favorite. I liked the super scoops better than the $20 scoops. Um, I did like my color scoop, my $20 scoops though. They, those were fun in their own way. Um, but comparing my first super scoop to my very last, um, I think the last one went out with a bang. I think the last one was the best one. And I think it's the best scoop I got out of all of them next to the color scoop. Um, got top coats this time, poly gel this time. We got a gel polish. We got, you know, some press on one, two, three go gel. I'm really happy about it. We got remover magic. I haven't seen anybody get the remover magic. We got more liners. We got more bubble gum gel, some more, um, charms and stuff to use that were different we got a whole bunch of acrylics which will definitely be happily sitting in my collection we got instead of one we got two bottles of monomer this time so that was a nice little throw in um we got more brush wipes 
um alcohol inks i think this was a really good scoop i think this was a great scoop um and for me this was my favorite scoop and it it was going out with a bang considering it was the last scoop and now who knows when we're ever gonna get to experience scoops again you guys so i hope you really really enjoyed this last scoop with me you guys um I am going to try to throw some more nail stuff on the channel to keep my nail subscribers coming. Um, I'm just, I, I'm really going to have to just sit down and figure out what I want to do. I don't necessarily do nail tutorials anymore, but um, maybe I'll, I'll do some videos showing how to use these wonderful products we got. You know, why not? Um, just, yeah, if you guys have any ideas of what um, you kind of nail content you would like to see on here um or any other companies you guys suggest that i look into um that also do subscription boxes or monthly boxes or scoops or anything um give me a heads up in the comments down below let me know let your girl know um and if you are new here and you enjoy the con content today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are returning, if you're one of my returning new subscribers, um, thank you for joining me in today's video. Anybody who is new to the channel in the past, you know, uh, I want to say this whole month of April, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And I guess that's all, my friends. So without further ado, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.